It's the Tell Me Something Good podcast. Because we believe that there is still good in the world. Hi, I'm Lori Gray. And I'm Rob Joe. We talk about the good things happening at Christ United Methodist Church here in Greensboro, North Carolina. And we have a little fun, too. We're so glad you're here. Rob Joe, you ready? Yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Or podcast. <laughs> yes. Let's get this podcast on the road. So last week, Rojo, we were talking about Welcome Wednesday, and we were going to start our Saving Grace class to learn how to manage our finances. <laughs> what did you think? Um, I felt a little overwhelmed, not going to lie, um, but looking forward to actually putting the things that we're going to be learning into action so that I can feel more financially secure. Yep. I've got to do my goals. I haven't done that yet because it's making oh, it's me a nervous. daunting. Yeah, it is. But before that... We had our normal Welcome Wednesday meal, and the kids that are going on the South Carolina mission trip this year hosted, and mm-hmm. they did a Q&A session and served the meal, and it was super fun. It was a big deal. There were people everywhere. Yeah, and you you went on the South Carolina mission trip last year, Yes, and I went pre-COVID 2018, okay. I think. Anyway, um, and it's a great time, and we, we do good work down mm-hmm. there. It is quite impressive. So coming from another church where we would do mission work, but not in the same way, this is like a well, well well-oiled machine. This thing is heavy volunteer-led, heavy staff-led, all the kids pitch in. I mean, there is always something for someone to do, all skill levels, all abilities. It's really, really such a cool experience to have. I was terrified when I went because I was like, I'm getting in a van with these children. They're high schoolers. But, you know, um, and I was just, and and my my kid, Abby, went that year. And I just was nervous about all the children and how loud it was going to be. And I thought they were all going to get on my nerves. And then it was magic because we, I remember the last day on our site, I was on a roofing site, mm-hmm. um, and I'm afraid of heights, so that was kind of fun. Anyway, <laughs> on the, we were leaving the site, and I like teared up because I was like, I just love those kids so much, and we had the best time. I, it was just a, it was a great experience. The only thing that I did not like was, and I'm sure this happened the year you went, maybe, did they play spoons? They did. I probably was on my cot taking a little rest because no, I was exhausted. No, you, you can't rest during spoons. Oh, well. They, I, I thought someone was injured the first round of spoons, <laughs> and I was like, what is going on in there? And no, none of the leaders that had been before, it didn't even phase them. And I just looked at it, I was like, what is happening? And I'm like, they're playing spoons, and it's some kind of game with all the spoons in the middle. I never played. It made me a nervous wreck. But anyway, but everything else was great. The food was great. Um, the year I went, there were 130-some people total, and we all slept in a big gym. And mm-hmm. I mean, it was great. Nothing says togetherness like sleeping in a room <laughs> with all of those people and all the sounds and smells that come along with it. <laughs> it was, and um, thank goodness somebody brought a fan, uh, and it was near me because the chorus of snoring, mm. just it yes, was a, like a round robin it. in there. It yes. was It was something. But anyway... So they're going um, in July, June, sorry, they'll be going in June. And um, so far, I think there's about 60 people signed up oh, total. Sweet. Yeah, Yeah, it's great. Um, it's, it's getting back to, it's growing back to pre-COVID numbers, I think. That's so, awesome. Yeah, and the biggest thing is that we tell the kids is, well, there's a couple of things. One, make a friend, be a friend. Mm-hmm. And the other, which is very, also very true, um, if you're gonna be stupid, you better be tough. <laughs> Classic Britt Blaylock saying. Thank you, Britt. You know, yeah, working yes. with all the tools and being on a roof. So anyway, that was fun. That's good stuff happening. Um, also, what happened last year is our friend Andy and Corey started a video podcast called Crocs and Socks, and I think that's coming back into play soon. Sweet. Yeah. So um, we'll be looking forward to hearing that. And um, I don't know. I think you can Google Crocs and Socks on YouTube. I'm not sure. I think so. And they were very faithful to sit down every night, <laughs> despite the exhaustion and the um, the lack of sleep, just to sit down and, and do a little kind of recap of every day. It was yeah. quite funny to, you know, like like to be on the trip and to experience it in real time. And then to also listen back to the video podcast because 
sometimes you know there were things that I didn't see or experience or things that I did see and experience, and hearing them uh, recount those things was really quite funny. Yeah, it's a great way to if you want to kind of get a feel for the for what goes on <laughs> during yeah. the week, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes, the um, blood, sweat, and the tears. Yeah, it, <laughs> both good, happy, funny tears and exhaustion tears. This is a great way to yeah. to learn about <laughs> what goes on down there. So sure. there's that. All right. So coming up at church this week, um, well, this Sunday actually is always the first Sunday of the month at Christ Church is always big because mm -hmm. we have, it's Communion Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's Family First Sunday. and Love that. Yep. And First Food Sunday. So, which means we, um, people bring in canned goods and stuff for um, Greensboro Urban Ministry and Backpack Beginnings. So awesome. We give good things to our community partners. And then Family First Sunday. So um, for those of you listening, we have um, Christ Kids Worship that happens every Sunday, except the first Sunday of the month, and it's at 9 a.m. in our chapel. But on Family First Sunday, we everybody stays in worship. And um, they're doing some really cool stuff, um, embodied prayer. So what does that mean? Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, Crystal Pruitt and Amberly Johnston, two of our coworkers, are in a um, like a learning group, a cohort of sorts, where they are learning about this uh, different form of worship. And so we've actually been a part of it in staff meetings a couple of times, which is really cool and kind of an interesting way to kick off our um, weekly staff meeting. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a way to like with your whole body, like your whole physical being, being able to praise God and to start like the, the, the meeting in a reverent and kind of a, a, like a sacred state of mind. Um, so they've been doing it with us as adults and then they've been also doing it with the children. And um, I've heard rumors that we are going to be doing an embodied prayer during Christ Kids time on Sunday. So you make sure you wear your stretchy pants and your comfy shoes to church. <laughs> yeah, because um, they made us take our shoes off in our staff meeting when we did it. It's kind of, it's very yoga-esque. Yeah, 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 yeah. It helps us calm our bodies in our staff mm -hmm. meeting because sometimes we get kind of silly. Yeah, well, well, that is true. I mean, we like to laugh. <laughs> it's a good time. Um, okay, so, and then Welcome Wednesday this week, we're going to, we're continuing our class. Mm -hmm. um, which should be fun because we're supposed to have our goals written down. I haven't done my homework yet. Um, and then what's the meal this week? Do you remember? I have not looked think, at the spreadsheet recently. I think it's like baked potato soup and salad bar. Mm. Very excited Anything about that. Anything containing potatoes, I'm here potatoes. for. Potatoes, yes. Potatoes all day long. Just give it to me. The potatoes are, yeah. Awesome. Okay, what else? Was it, I thought there was something else going on that we needed to talk about, but now I can't remember. I know that um, tomorrow evening um, after dinner, our construction ministry is gathering. Oh, um, that's for right. For a little kind of like year, beginning of year kickoff. Um, exciting things happening there and always opportunities to jump in if that's your skill set or your passion. Yeah, because we are getting ready to start our habitat builds, mm -hmm. which is very mm -hmm. exciting. I've never been a part of one of those. I know that Christ Church in the years past has, but I've not been here long enough. So I'm very excited to not only see like the inner workings of how we accomplish such things, but also like getting out there and I don't know, I'm trying not to smash my finger with a hammer. So. Well, <laughs> the construction ministry is awesome. Oh, for they, sure. They've been going around town. They build ramps for people. Um, they help you know members of our congregation who are having some struggles, need minor repairs done to their house. They do that. They've also um, been the team that's gone down to when there's been hurricanes come through, they mm -hmm. go down and, and help with cleanup from that. So we're very grateful to these guys and gals that go and, and out into our community and in our state and do the good work of yeah. helping people clean up. Um, yeah, speaking of hammers, I, I was not really, I'm still not really good with a hammer, I'm not going to lie. But going back to the South Carolina mission trip, I did have to, you know, hammer in the, putting the shingles on the roof. Mm -hmm. And they made fun of me because I was very <laughs> slow at it. Like a couple, you know, the, the dudes that have been there forever, they could like hammer them in one time. And I'm like up there just whack, whack, just trying slow to. Slow and steady it, wins the race. Well, it, they were making fun of me. But Unless I didn't fall the off the roof, so that was good. <laughs> <then> it's <laughs> over and the <laughs> it roof was, is not finished. Yeah, then that's a problem. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anything else we need to discuss? I don't know. But again, we're so grateful oh, that you're here. No. One oh, other thing yes. that we didn't have on our list. Uh, 
it's in our sitting in our office right now. Yes. The wishing well. Tell me something good about this wishing well. Okay, so we ordered a uh, funnel thing that you you can race change. You know, you can drop a quarter, or whatever. Just you imagine being in. in the science center. Yeah, the science center. If you've been to the Greensboro Science Center, they have a giant one. So we we have a smaller version of that, and um, it's a way for children to be part of the generosity of the church. Um, and so just a super fun, and we're also um, using it for the church staff as um, the, we're gonna, well, it's gonna be in the, um, what's the corner we call it? The kindness corner is what it's gonna, we're Just creating. outside the chapel. Yeah, we're Kinda creating. Kind of where the name tags are housed. Yes, we're creating a kindness corner, but the other thing that it's gonna do is we're gonna use it. We're gonna make the staff use it for when they're grumpy. And so it's going to be our Attitude Improvement Center, and they have yes. to take their change and drop it and, like, <laughs> pray for themselves and for the others around them or something. <laughs> I don't know. And then come back to the office with a better attitude. There you have it. So, because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we get grumpy in the office, believe it or not. And I'm, <laughs> we're going to try the grump song first and see if that works. There you go. And if it doesn't, then we're sending them to the Attitude Improvement Center. For sure. And how cool is it that we get to include our youngest worshipers in something that might seem like something for adults only? Yeah, so, but the adults can play along. Too. Oh, for sure. But I love that our church is so good at including and, and really encouraging young worshipers to really get involved, not just be present. I know. I love our church. It's I the best. Too. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for sitting in on our little ADD conversation. We love having you always. And we'll look forward to seeing you yeah, next week. Yeah, well, we won't. You say that every week. It's not C because they're not going to see We'll look see forward us. to we, being with you yes, next week. Being with you on, on the radio station. Or you could be listening on YouTube. But anyway, it's always fun, right? However you found us. We're just yes. glad you're here. Yeah, we're well, glad you're here. We hope you have here. a great week. Yeah, have a great week. All right, Christchurch. Bye. Bye.